Hey everyone, I'm Jamal Page with Black Sparrow Media and welcome to our Black History Month special. For the month of February, we'll be sharing some insights on what it means to be black in America, as well as some great stories about our own personal inspirations. We'll go into some fun topics and some serious topics. Our goal is for the viewers to learn something new and hopefully do our small part in creating a greater community. I think the first place we need to start is with the word black. Go ahead, you can say it. Black, it's not a bad word, and you don't have to whisper when saying it. It's who we are, it describes our culture. Even then, there still exists some discussion on what is the more proper term to use. I think a good rule of thumb is to simply just ask how someone wants to be identified. It can be that simple, perhaps they have no preference, or maybe they feel one represents them more than the other. The important thing here is knowing that these words represent a certain community. A community that, for the most part, hasn't always had proper representation in this country. With the Civil Rights Movement, this country made huge leaps in the right direction. A direction that leads to more equality and acceptance. In fact, it's because of civil rights leaders that I'm able to sit here today and speak to you now about Black History Month. Originally established in 1926, Black History Month became officially recognized in the United States during 1976. Now, in the year 2021, our country's history has been more relevant now than ever. Today I want to talk about someone who, believe it or not, was only recently brought to my attention. A man by the name of Eugene Jacques Bullard, who would eventually be known as simply the Black Sparrow. Born in Georgia in 1895, Bullard has a story more remarkable than any I've ever heard. His father, a former slave from Haiti, his mother, full-blooded Creek. He ran away while still a child to Norfolk, Virginia, where he would eventually board a ship to Scotland. He didn't see America for the next 30 years. Working odd jobs, Eugene eventually grew into quite a talented boxer and enjoyed a successful boxing career. He was a part of an entire community of black boxers in England. He retired from his boxing career young, wealthy, and living in Paris. Then 1914 came around, and the Great War began. Having been a citizen of Europe for a majority of his life, he joined the French Foreign Legion and was assigned to the 3rd Marching Division. A long and very impressive service record followed after that, including being an integral part of the Battle of Verdun, where some of the heaviest fighting of the entire war occurred. Honorably discharged and more than eligible for a cozy desk job, Eugene decided to join the Air Force instead, where he became the very first black American fighter pilot, fighting for the French. He ended this part of his military career with the Military Medal, as well as a slew of many, many other awards. And that is when his life got interesting. With the Great War over, he found himself in Paris in the 1920s at the onset of the Jazz Age. So, he learned to play the drums and became a jazz musician. That's not even half of the story of Eugene Jacques Bullard. To read more on this pioneer in the black community, follow the links provided in this video, or do your own research and look him up online. Although he wasn't the inspiration for the name Black Sparrow Media, I am extremely honored to share that name with such a giant in black history. As a start to this Black History Month special, I thought he was a fitting person to begin with. But they won't all be past historical figures. We'll be speaking with some people right here in our local community for next week's episode. Thanks for watching along and being a part of our Black History Month special. And remember, don't let us be your only source of information. I encourage you to look up other great resources for more facts and stories about Black and African American culture. You can find us at blacksparrowmedia.org or show continued support through our Patreon at patreon.com slash blacksparrowmedia. I'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.